Okay. <clears throat> so recently, a few hours ago, I think I was I was busy doing viral stuff, but um, Lab was banned. He's a two or three game player. He's pretty good. He he was banned for um, um, game exploitation or exploitation of game mechanics. <clears throat> Excuse me. Was the official email that he received, and um, that is interesting because when Lab was actually when the game when the game got canceled. The message that was shown to everybody in the game was um, the game was canceled because Blizzard had detected cheating. So, really quick, game exploitation, like exploitation of game mechanics, that email is reserved for bug abuse. Um, things like I think when they when custom games were first released. Um, like the custom browser, and people were finding ways to auto level. Um, I know Blizzard banned the people who like really abused that. They got temporary temporary bans, I think, or maybe they were permanent. I don't actually remember, but I know that was also the email that they got back then. Um, so anything basically abusing game mechanics in ways that are obviously wrong, obviously not what um, those mechanics were intended for, and obviously um, something that anybody anybody at all would realize is not what you should be doing. Um, another example is when Dante was banned for um, Sombra teleporting through Anubis's wall. Um, his, the point B attackers, or when you're attacking second point on Anubis, um, that spawn room that you spawn out of, um, Dante found a bug where you could TP through it before that spawn was actually open, I think. You could like, TP through the wall. Um, that's an example of exploiting game mechanics. So, really quick, when you get banned for cheating, this is the email you receive. Um, for When I say cheating, I mean aimbotting, hacking, etc. So the email on the left is the email that Main received um, when his account was banned uh, a few days ago. I'm not, I'm not sure how many days ago now. So this was th that email. Um, now Main is like really sticking to his guns, like he doesn't cheat, he never cheated. Um, I never, I don't really know with main. I, I can't, I don't know main well enough to give him a vouch, but to be honest, I never, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I really don't know with main. <clears throat> um, so this is the email that you would see when Blizzard does detect and say, Hey, we're banning you for using cheats. Um, now whether or not this a hundred percent means the person is cheating is Blizzard. If Blizzard system is really guaranteed and 100% tight net, then sure. Then it's it would be fine to believe that this person was using unauthorized cheat programs or hacks as is written in the email. Um, now I'm not here to say yes or no, um, main was or was not cheating or, or whatever. But what I'm trying to exemplify here is that this is the email you get when you are banned for cheating. Now the email on the right uh, is from an account seller um, who saw levels accounts to 25 without software. Um, he doesn't use any automated software or anything that hooks into the game's memory at all. He does not use any form of, like, manufactured, like, software to level the accounts. Now, obviously, he's, what he's doing is against terms of service, but it's not hooking into the game's memory at all but the people who buy his accounts are often buying them to cheat on. Um, and so every now and then he'll get an email for one of his accounts being banned because somebody on it cheated. Now, if we zoom out a little bit, you'll see, because I, by the way, this this uh, unknown PNG, this image right here, this was, I, I just dragged it over the original image, which is this. So um, if we hide this, um, we'll see that this was six hours ago. I was sent this a few minutes ago. So one of his, um, one of his uh, customers cheated on one of the accounts they bought from him, and it was banned today. And this was, the, this was the email they received. Now, let me, I don't think I have it pulled up here. Let me pull up, um, let me pull up, um, lab spam email. And he did send me a GIF of it. I hope he's okay with this being shown. And the reason I asked for a GIF
Um, hold on. I'll just ask him after. Um, the reason I asked for a GIF is so people could roll any inspect element and stuff. <clears throat> so here it is. Offense is exploitation of game mechanics, and here he is refreshing it. So it's not just him inspecting the element or anything. And I asked him for this GIF of the email. And within... Oh, no, sorry. Within two minutes, it was sent to me. So the argument that th there's a possible argument that he could have written a Chrome extension to automatically alter the text as the page loaded. Um, yeah, sure. If he wrote that in two minutes, good for him. If he wrote that entire thing in two minutes, the manifest file loaded it into Chrome as an extension, sure. I guess you could argue that, but that, that's really, really not realistic. Um, but really quick, he also copied it for me. Greetings. Account, his email, account action, account closure, Overwatch account, exploitation of game mechanics. Recent activity on this account has shown exploitation of game functionality, which harms the intended player experience. And then the default, the account holder is responsible, et cetera, et cetera. But this is a separate email than what was given out just a few hours ago to somebody who was rage hacking. So while I can't tell you whether or not the lab did something stupid and abused some bugs, like um, Dante did in that clip from years ago. Um, what I can tell you with certainty is that this is not the email they send or have ever sent to somebody who's using a third-party software to gain an advantage, like aimbot, walls, etc. That's not what this email is. This is somebody who is banned for exploitation of game mechanics. And the reason why this is important Sorry, I'm thirsty any water. The reason why this is important, the difference is important, is because this is someone who's grinded tier three. They are a good player. If they keep playing and they keep grinding, they will go somewhere. And with with things like this, it it can really hurt his reputation. And while, yeah, bug abuse would hurt his reputation a little bit, it would not hurt his reputation nearly as much as if he were to be convicted of aimbotting, which he wasn't. There are two they're, they're completely different things. Dicking around and abusing a bug here and there, like something that, by the way, Blizzard doesn't even tell us what is considered bug abuse in, in Overwatch specifically. We don't know what's intended or not intended. I know that in Contenders, they tell us that any surface we can float on like rooftops and stuff is, is, is considered a bug and they don't allow us to do it in contenders but you can still do it in the live client like that that's just an example of how weird um blizzard is with with this kind of rule um if he was cheating in a traditional sense like aimbot walls he would have gotten an email that includes what we see here but he didn't so I don't want to see this person take a hit to their reputation that is way bigger than any hit they might actually deserve to their reputation, which is sure, you know, if he teleported through a wall, if he did this, if he did that, tragic, like, you shouldn't do that. But there's a huge difference in somebody who would willingly cheat and closet cheat and try to build a reputation off cheating as, as to be a good player and somebody who got banned because they, they abused some bug in some game one time. Okay. Now, please remember that may bug from way back when. Um, let's see if we can go to YouTube here. May wall bug Overwatch. Here, three months ago. So this bug, when you put May's wall in the spawn door, it would go sideways. And then if players jumped on top of it and the May broke the wall, the player's orientation would be completely shifted. <clears throat> I can't get up! Oh, here we go, here we go. It's working! <laughs> and so what you could do with this is then you could start flying around. No, dude! It's working! 
So this this is something to Fran and Craigie and many other people did on stream. And this is technically considered cheating. But I think we can all agree that something like this does not compromise the integrity of a game or the integrity of a person doing it as much as something like aimbotting. They're completely different things. So the email that, uh, that a lab was given describes things of this nature, not things of the same nature as aimbotting or wall hacking. Okay? Completely different things. And please understand that. I, I went in the cafe's chat and I started talking to him about it. And by the way, his chat is filled with people that, uh, let's just say they're watching streams for a reason and that's why they're not playing. Like the, the, they will never be the streamer. They will always be in chat just blindly agreeing to whatever they, they, they feel is right. And that's fine. I understand that's how Twitch chat is. That's not a shot at Kefri. I just find that Kefri's chat in particular is so, so, so bad at keeping an open mind. It's insane. Um, now, the thing, the argument against this is that when Lab was banned, the game was automatically canceled, and the message that was displayed was that the game had detected cheating. So, let me chime in here. That message is not a string that Blizzard pulls down from a server. It is not something that is subject to change outside of a client update. Right? So, right now, there's only one string in the client that can be displayed when a game is cancelled, and that is the cheating string, the one that was shown. So, main was banned by the system for exploitation of game mechanics, but the message that was shown was detected cheating. So exploitation of game mechanics does fall under the category of cheating. But the, 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 what I'm trying to point out is that so does this Maywall bug. This is technically cheating. But where were you guys when Defran was doing this? Because right now, it is infinitely more reasonable. Actually, no, it's, it's, this is how it is. This is, fact, this, this is just facts. Kepi said he was going off facts. The email ma Lab received was for exploitation of game mechanics or bug abuse, basically. Not cheating. And um, Kepi said, oh, well, they might have updated the email, which is why I asked uh, an account seller if they had any um, fresh accounts that were banned by any other customers for cheating, and so they sent me that. Anyway, um, they're, they're two different things, and they fall under the same umbrella. And when you get in trouble for either of these things, with a generalized message like what was shown, people are going to assume the worst and taint your reputation with the worst. But that is not what is deserved here at all. And if you look, at it, look into it and you look at the facts, you can see that plain as day. That his reputation should not be that of a cheater in, in the same as somebody like um, Elusive or uh, that Van Squad guy, like these known cheaters, right? He should not have that same black mark on his profile as they do. And watching Kefri stream and reading his chat, and to be fair to Kefri, Kefri was just very fact of the matter. He got banned for cheating mid-game. That could mean, and Kefri even said, that's all I have to go off of. So I, yes, to me, he's a cheater. That's fine. Whatever. But with Kefri's chat, <laughs> which is the general public, like, that, that is the, uh, people's chat rooms are really good examples of people who might not know too much about the community or the game or not be as good at it as, um, uh, you know, the pro players or the, the very high SI players. Getting their vibe and seeing where they're at with something is a good gauge on the community's feel towards something. Now, I know Kepri's chat's going to be vastly different than many chats um, and situations about this in particular sort of deal, but it was really sad for me to see that these people were labeling him, labeling him just like they would label somebody who is buying an account and wall hacking and rage hacking on it, or somebody that is closet cheating. You guys need to understand that not every sin carries the same weight, <laughs> okay? Please understand that. Like, you need to realize 
that just because the in-game message said cheating does not mean he was going around rage hacking. His email even proves that he was not banned for hacking and modifying the game's memory to his advantage or any advantage or any anything. He didn't touch the game client and the email proves that or it proves that he at least wasn't banned for it. Maybe, you know, maybe in, you know, some fucking alternate universe he was cheating, sure. Right? And then this just this email wouldn't prove it. But you, you, you get my point, right? Like he wasn't banned for the traditional sense of cheating. That we all like when you when somebody says cheating, we think aimbot, we think visuals, we think shit like that. But please do not label this person that's grinded the game for hundreds of hundreds of, if not thousands of hours, played in tournaments, has never showed off any red flags, ever, was never, ever, ever accusated by anyone good at the game. Outside of like the only time I've ever seen Lav get accusated was in low SR games on a new account. Okay? Which is when every good player gets accusated when they're smurfing. So I just don't want the only media attention this got to be the people who were in the game that were streaming when it happened. This person does not deserve to get blackballed. If you look at all the facts, you can very plain as day see that the systems did not ban him for use of third-party software. Now, I'm not... I don't, I don't know what he did. I really don't. I don't know. He doesn't know either is what he's saying. Could he have, like, bugged through a wall? Could there be a false positive? Could he have done something and not be admitting to it in terms of bug abuse? Sure. Those are all complete, real possibilities. But the fact of the matter is, there was no third-party software detected. The, when I brought that up in Kefi's chat, he said they could have updated the ban email for all we know. The email I just showed you is proof that that's not the case. The ban email, as of like four or five hours ago, is the exact same. And I, I talked to somebody right now, they DM me and they told me, hey, I'm rage hacking really hard right now, <laughs> which obviously, cool dude, nice. But they're basically trying to get an account banned right now um, to give out the ban email and, and prove even more that it wasn't changed in the past hour. Which, by the way, Blizzard's office is closed. My clock's set to PST, even though I'm not in PST right now. Um, Blizzard's office is closed. Let's see. Their average workday ended about six and a half hours ago. So, <clears throat> yeah, that email was sent out. That that ban email was sent out after Blizzard's workday had had already ended. So, very, very, very unlikely that it would have changed since then. So, please don't label lab as somebody who's willing to aimbot or use visuals or anything. If you have to give them a label based off this incident, bug abuser. But guess what? If you want to label them as a bug abuser and, and see that as this really negative thing, then you better be giving it to Craggy and to Fran and Rady too. Because they, they did this shit for hours in comp. Live on stream. They never got in trouble for it, from what I know. Ever. So many players did this, dude. And it did. It compromised the integrity of matches. Acadia even did this. Acadia was flying around as Bastion, going to Sentry form, midair dropping on people with his bug. In comp. That was funny as fuck. Like, it probably was annoying for the enemy team. And yeah, it, it's, it's like, kind of shitty. But let's be real, it's hilarious. Okay? And so, this, this is insane to me. And it, by the way, people did get banned for this. I just don't think DeFran or Craggy did. I'm not 100% sure, though. Um, but people did get banned for this, and the ban email that was given out for the people that really, really, really abused this was the same email that uh, Lab showed me. So, just don't, just think for yourself, look at all the facts, don't just, don't blindly trust shit, please. That's, <laughs> please.